Hey guys, this is Mark, and today I want to talk to neurodiverse couples about the negativity bias. So, in the neurodiverse marriage, it's very common for both parties to experience marital stress due to the fact that both the neurotypical wife and the ASD husband are wired completely differently. And due to these marital stresses, both spouses, at some level, develop a victim mentality. The NT wife says, I'm not getting my emotional needs met. My autistic husband says hurtful things. The ASD level one husband thinks, doesn't matter what I say or do, it's never good enough. She's always being critical of me. And so now both parties scan for bad news because both parties feel like they're a victim. And when you scan for bad news, you will quickly find it. And when you find it, you will tend to over-focus on it and exaggerate it and catastrophize about it. And when you overfocus on it, then you'll tend to overreact to these marital stresses. Anger, rage, meltdown, shutdown, adult temper tantrums, and so on. And when you overreact to neurodiverse marital stress long enough, you start accumulating a ton of bad memories, past hurts. And when you replay those hurts in your head, you have content memory. In other words, you remember what was said and done. But when you replay those old memories, you also replay the negative emotions that you felt at that time. And all of this sensitizes the brain to negativity. And that's why we call it negativity bias. In other words, both spouses in the neurodiverse marriage recognize, focus, and react to the negativity even more and more and more. Trust then gets broken, the bond gets severed, and both parties become very resentful, and both parties feel very unsafe. At this point, any kind of positive things that either spouse is doing can't be seen. Both spouses begin to ignore the positive because the negative occupies more memory space and both parties are mind blind to the fact that there are some things that are going right. And so due to this negativity bias, one spouse brings out the negativity in the other spouse and vice versa. Now you get this synergy going on where one plus one does not equal two of a level hurt, it equals level five. All of which reinforces the need to scan for even more bad news, expecting more hurtful things to be said and done, and the cycle starts all over again.